That is definitely the morbiest movie I've ever morbed. <laughs> Has it? Is it in fact the morbiest of all? Hmm. Hmm. I. I don't. I. Oh. <laughs> uh, I so to predate this, I really need to say that in my whole past week of streams, I've had moments where I lose thirty seconds, ninety seconds, five minutes here, because I remember reading that Chainsaw Man edit, where Denji and a girl go to a movie marathon, and all the movies are boring, except for the last movie, and it cuts to like a black and white photoshopped like vampire Jared Leto face with the text, I'm starting to morb. <laughs> and then the two characters from Chainsaw Man look at each other and they start crying. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to remember that, that moment my whole life when he morbed out on all those guys. So like that, that yeah. was like just yeah. burning hot in my mind. I mean, God bless and shout outs to, the moments where you just sit down and you kind of have a moment in life where it's like time to sit down and just watch or experience a podcast segment you know yeah, yeah. but also so morbius is is in this bizarre state <laughs> where everyone's having so much fun with it because no one's seen it and no one actually even knows what happens in the movie no like, no one has a goddamn no. clue what happens in the movie. I saw the poster, and I saw the cave, and I'm like, okay, there's a cave, and he morbs in the cave. And, um, and, then, and then there's, like, um, the, 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 the the dancing Britishman, and then... Yeah, the, 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 the uh, uh, what's it, Will Grant? That's not his fucking name. The, the, the Doctor Who man, Matt Smith, that's and it. And then he's the only one who's, like, facing you on the poster while everyone yeah. else has their back turned. And yeah. then his eyes um, are in the sky. I, I, I mean this without irony, without exaggeration, unironically. This is one of the shittiest movies I've ever seen. I'm going to put it above The Last Airbender. In terms of, like, saw it in a theater style movie. Okay. Like, like... No, we can go back to the jokes in a minute, guys. But we like there's 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 fun to be had in the actual movie. Okay. Okay. There were at least there were like three times where we had to pause the movie and rewind it because we didn't understand what was happening in the scene. Kind of like bad movie. Okay. Um, like the editing was not clear. Like, like, like there were there were two that I can think of right now in which we're sitting there going like, wait, what? What happened? What? What was that? What? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Um, and we did a we did a thing that we only we do this if we're watching like uh, 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 X Files or if we were watching uh, fucking. Um, you know, Seinfeld, for example, where uh, the big, the, the second act turn happens in, say, an X-Files episode, and you tap the screen to see exactly how much is left, and you're like, that's right, it's the 20-minute mark. Yeah, okay. Six minutes before the second batch of commercials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? And we were doing that, and the one that got me is, I'm like, Paige, how much time have we been watching this movie? And the answer was 10 minutes. <laughs> The answer you was did, you 10. Did the tap? Yeah. <laughs> like, we've been watching it for 10 minutes. The status Out of a tap. one hour Damn. and 45 minute runtime. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So That's a new one. Because I guess you had to look at your watch back in the day, but no one did. Yeah. But, but with videos, like the, the what the fuck just happened and where are we in this video file? <laughs> That's good. So, That's good. Yeah. Okay. So, like, Every, every part of this screams like mismanagement. Um, you probably saw the trailer for Morbius, which is him going to the bat cave and he puts his hand out and the bats are there and he cuts his hand. Morbid I'm gonna up. I'm gonna go through the first like ten minutes of the movie because the first ten ish minutes of the movie were so legitimately confusing that me and Paige had to stop the movie and discuss what scenes had occurred in what order, which is not a great sign. 
So the first scene in the movie, well, actually, before that even, you get two in association with Marvel Pictures uh, opening credit scenes. By the way, we are now 10 minutes into the podcast. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> So in this time frame, <laughs> yeah, we'd be sitting here going, "I don't know, I don't understand." What well, seven audio, okay. ten stream. Anyway, okay, great. So, to in association with Marvel Pictures, and like I don't, maybe it's psychosomatic, but the in, in association with Marvel Pictures seems really big ooh, on the ooh, text. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The first scene is the scene from the trailer with the bats. He's, he's, he's got busted legs, and he's got his canes, and he goes down to the bat cave, and then he sees the bats, and he goes, ah, I'm a morb, morb me up. He morbs, he morbs With the up. blood on his hand, and mm -hmm. he's capturing bats, okay? The next scene is him as a child, and it's him in a hospital for, for children with horrible blood diseases, of course, and he saves his other friend's child life that has a blood disease, by being a super genius and repairing a million dollar dialysis machine with a with a piece of wire from his pen and his his fake hospital dad says I took a team of scientists to build this fucking thing and you fixed it with a ballpoint pen Michael Morbius you're a genius you need to go to New York and be a genius and then he tells his 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 blood friend he says, I'm going to go be a genius. Okay. Dawn of the it first then, morb. It then it That then was the first smash, one. That was the first morb. That was the first morb, yeah. It mm -hmm. then smash cuts to him at uh, rejecting a Nobel Prize. And this is where it starts to get really confusing. Okay? Because the first thing out of the presenter's mouth is like, Michael Morbius has his doctorate at 19. And for the incredible work, and here we're gonna give him the prize, and then he, he denies it. And the the makeup they have on Leto to make him look sickly, look, like I can't tell how old he is. So mm -hmm. I thought he was like nineteen or twenty in that shot, but then he goes back to the lab and he has the bats. And so that's when me and Paige stop the movie, and I'm like, wait. We just had the start of the movie and then a flashback to him as a child and then a flash forward to after the start of the movie. But I thought it was, I thought we were building up for like 30 minutes to him going to get the bats because he's explaining his fucking vampire thing. So, okay. So you're in teenage years, but the teenage years flash back to the kid years so that you, and then you go back to the teenage years. I don't know. I don't. Um, and this is where we start running into the problem where it feels like the room where characters exist to walk on the camera and go, Michael Morbius, you're such a genius with your synthetic blood. You saved my arm in the war. Thank you, Michael Morbius. I'm going to leave. And there's a little sick kid that's in the scene in the movie for like six minutes mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. show you that Michael Morbius is the most caring physician mm -hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. Just and, Morbin, my job. Just Morbin, and 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 here's where the money, the movie broke for me and Paige. It's the 15 minute mark in which his assistant Martine catches him in his lab experimenting on bats, and he's like, "I gotta do the, with the blood. I gotta do a thing with the bats. It, it'll cure me, right?" And the 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 sidekick lady just goes, "But at what cost?" And it's like, <laughs> was, do you was know there... you're in a comic book? <laughs> was there anything like, what does that to fucking indicate mean? that? <laughs> like, I've created a new cancer medication, but at what cost? <laughs> okay. Was there any indication that there was any reason to no! ask? That? Yeah, no! Okay. All right. All right. And cool. then, cool. and this is, this is where I'm going to stop talking about the specifics of the movie, because this is the moment where I was like, oh, no. And then he... Uh, Paige described it in a tweet that it's like the worst pseudoscience I've ever seen in a film, and I agree with her. He's like looking at bat DNA, and he's like, the bats can do the coagulants, and that can cure me, right? And he's talking about vampire bats. Not the vampire bats of the South American place that he was at. Just vampire bats, right? And he goes, well, 
vampire bats are the only creature on Earth that have evolved exclusively to feed on blood. And Paige and I just sit there and go, th that, no, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, uh, that's, what is a mosquito? What is a leech? I, 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 what, like, uh, like what? It, it, it's one of it's one of those things that's just so flat wrong uh, that it just hit. I'm like, no, that's wrong. That's that's what's a tick. Mm. See, what I was waiting for was for the movie to start <laughs> and Mor and Morbius walks into the Bat Cave and he holds his hand out and then. The little text at the bottom says March 2020. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then and then the movie continues and um they definitely want to remind you that every like newspaper it. everyone is reading is the Daily Bugle. Of course. Like calling it out by name and putting it dead center. You definitely want the 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 most uncharismatic FBI agents I've ever seen in a movie go wow this is just like that thing in san francisco mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you want you want uh <sighs> dude we were we were 48 minutes into the movie and we're sitting there going what is the plot what is what is the plot what is what is it where, where is it going and then the villain shows up and then the whole rest of the movie is the villain is bad i have to kill him um is but... his introduction getting dressed and dancing no 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 that's that he's he's he has just as much screen time as as uh leto does he's all oh, wow the movie. okay okay he's 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 morbius's little blood friend from the blood orphanage uh... um and like how do i put this there's just so there's so many like there's i it's it's so bad like every like every scene you're sitting there going why is this happening so do they do the thing to establish at any point that like he's a hero but he's a dark hero he's well, not the first quite thing he, a the, villain the first thing he does he's when Morbius. he does the transformation is kill like eight random people okay so okay. that he's like oh it's a curse i'm a monster but like the it, it's Paige reminded me that it's very common to vampire stories that vampires are unnecessarily dramatic, and this movie has the absolute biggest problem with stakes I have ever seen of anything, and then doesn't address it. So the whole crux of Morbius's uh, personal problem is that. He has made artificial blood for the purposes of having a story. And artificial blood keeps him from turning into a monster, right? But the artificial blood is losing effectiveness. So eventually he'll have to drink red blood. Mm -hmm. And he won't do that because he killed those people and he's a monster, right? However, he has like... 30 pints of regular blood in his lab freezer that he loses and then later on in the movie steals a couple pints of transfusion blood out of like a out of like a paramedic's bag uh oh spoil more is like, incoming but he's like but the but the artificial blood's going to run out and i'm i'm going to turn into a monster and me and Paige just so just steal blood. So then, so then you steal the blood. Just and then... steal blood. Like, so... like one, you know those little blood bags you put up yeah. into an IV. The IV. That keeps him good for like a whole day. So just so there's what is the <laughs> what is the drama? What is the problem? Like, and then at the end of the movie, he just drives away and just forgets about it. like that that dilemma with the blood is just Does gone. It just... Does it just taste better when he bites it out? Like, is it just is it just cooler and edgier? Is there like a a freshness to it? It's stronger or whatever. Okay. Um, and it it also has it all it also has um. I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna call it a a visual effects issue, and a a a power issue. Uh, okay, Wooly. 
Spider-Man, in this universe even, gets bit by a radioactive spider, and it rewrites his DNA. Very similar to Mr. Morbius, right? Mm -hmm. What does Spider-Man get? He gets powers akin to the abilities of a spider. He can crawl on walls with little things on his fingers. He's super strong. He's super fast. He's agile, yada, yada, right? That makes sense because he got his powers from cells and genes and whatnot, right? I don't know what part of vampire DNA allows a man <laughs> to fly unassisted like Superman with with flowing wisps of like of VFX energy coming off of him. And it's it's like, not and it's not a rewrite, it's just blood, right? It's just a human body with better blood in it. It's just a human body with a little bit of vampire bat DNA. Okay. Because, um, like, it's not... It doesn't sound as if this is setting up the idea of, like, by the way, vampires exist and some of that is inside of him. It no, sounds no, like no, it's, it's trying to do it's, a science it, vampire. It, it, it's, it's definitely science vampire to the point where they even have a moment... The, one of the most confusing moments of the whole movie because the directing was bad. Okay? They're sitting in a diner, and his his lady friend offers him a cup of coffee. And he goes, no, thank you. And she goes, it's decaf, you know, don't cut on the caffeine. And he goes to reach for the coffee, and he's like, ow, ow, no coffee. Right? And he goes, I'm not that kind of vampire. And me and Paige are sitting there going, what is the fucking relationship between a vampire and caffeine? Or what's, what's like, the... like, he doesn't need food? Food hurts him. Was it what the temperature? Is happening? Was it... So we had to re we had to rewatch it twice in order to realize that she put the coffee in a sunbeam. Uh... <laughs> okay, but but here's why okay, okay. we didn't we didn't um, understand because the past two scenes were him riding a bus in broad, broad daylight. daylight. <laughs> he had a hoodie on. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. like Day they're talking in daylight and walking around outside in daylight. So why would we now think that? Da what the fuck is going? Oh, okay, dude. Um, Does so anyone... like most of the movie, just sitting there with your mouth open, just like I don't know what's happening. Why is that? Why? Okay. Um. So so Spider Man then... exists as graffiti on the wall, right? No, that that was trailer only. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. Uh, the part where the the part where Michael Keaton talks to Michael Morbius, that's trailer only. That's not in the movie. Um, what I will say, what I will Good. say, it's and good. this 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 is gonna hit way harder for anybody that watched Spider Man No Way Home. There's a little tiny piece of the end of Spider Man No Way Home in the movie at the very end for like one second. The, the sky does a cool thing. Ah. And and Paige was like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, that's a thing from the Spider-Man movie. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, okay, right? Um, and then the post credit scenes are written by somebody who didn't know what the ending to No Way Home was. Like, like I'm watching it and I'm like, that's wrong that's just that makes no sense at all and people are pointing out that the post credit scene has since been cut to remove mentions of some characters oh. but not the one on apple tv oh they fucked what up the post credits and then removed it it's wow like, really, it is it is nonsense it makes no sense it makes no sense at all okay. like they when they wrote the post credit thing for when they wrote the post credit thing for morbius like they did not know what the ending to no way home was so they just said fuck it and it it makes it makes no sense okay it well hold on no a second did you tune see out, no way home yeah i did so tune out if you don't want to have that spoiled for you if you haven't seen it yet okay, okay. yeah sure we're going to spoil the post credits of Michael Morbius right now. In Morb five spoils. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, 
Michael Keaton as Adrian Toomes shows up in the Vulture outfit and goes, I don't know how I got here, but I think it has something to do with Spider-Man. I'm thinking of getting a team together. And uh. Morbius goes, that seems interesting. <laughs> it's Sinister Sixing. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. And, like, okay. Morbius doesn't uh. know who Spider-Man is and also spent a whole movie trying to be a good guy. So then, and like, also, a minute why later... Why would Vulture he... from Marvel go to Sony for no reason? <laughs> why? Why? Oh, man. Oh, it doesn't like have they to didn't make any get it. sense. Like, they literally didn't get what the end of the movie was wow. and how that worked. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And because of the Venom Stinger. Yeah, okay. Okay. The Venom Stinger in No Way Home makes sense. The and, and, the and the Stinger at the end of Venom makes sense. This one makes no sense. It makes no sense. But shut and up. Like, we want to establish our Sinister Six and nothing's going to stop us. I, I saw... I saw an interview... Uh, not an interview. I saw people talking about... It's uh, apparently... Apparently, um, fucking Andrew Garfield like turned down the opportunity to be Spider-Man again in the this next batch of movies. Like they wanted Garfield to come back for like Sony's fucking Spider-Mans, and he's I, like, "No, nah, I don't want to." Yeah, I, I just I like I I saw a bunch of press about that and about people going, "Oh man, yeah, back to the olds," and it's like way to just ruin what that was, you know. If your desire is like, cool, now we can just do them all over again and keep them around, and you just completely ruin what that was. Um, way to just take the wrong it's, thing from that. The move. The movie is like astonishingly poor. Oh, like man. Uh, um, like there's a <laughs> there there's there's some. You know, you, you ever had that feeling watching something, and you're like, I bet the director thought this was really smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so like Morbius and Matt and Matt Smith is that his name? The the Doctor Who the, Morbius and Doctor Who yeah are arguing, and like they're arguing in front of like a street light or like a like a sign, and like no matter which way they turn and no matter which way they're standing, the red of the street light is always on the Doctor Who man's face. Of course, because he's been eating people. And yeah. and the white is always on Morbius's face. And yeah, like, it's that's what, oh yeah, that's what Zack Snyder feels every time he he pl right. clicks play on an MP3 while uh, right. while they're editing a movie. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, okay, right? Yeah. But then, but then, Matt Smith goes to a club, and he's walking towards the club, and the club has like a a red door. And so he's walking into the red, and I'm like, oh, yeah, because blood, right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. then it cuts to the inside, and it's like the entire wall and every single item in the frame is red except for Matt Smith. And he just stands there waiting for an elevator for like two seconds. I'm like, Gee, God, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, I yep. fucking, I get, he, he's a vampire. Like, fuck. Every time... Superman T poses, <laughs> you know, with the light of Christ behind him. It, yeah, it's that feeling. It, like, yeah, it's it's just like I I just couldn't get over it. Like there there I I swear to God there are six conversations about I'm a monster. No, I can't. The artificial blood will wear off. I won't do that. And me and Pedro are like, so just drink real, just drink real blood. Just, no, but the angst just, though, the angst like. Like, like somebody gave you a, a blood pack earlier in the movie and you drank it and you were fine for like a whole day. So we've established that that's a solution. So what is, what is the more, like you're fucking super powered. Mm. You could do anything like with the, what the fuck are you, oh my God. So yeah, no, that, that is, um, uh, uh, Matt, Matt Smith, the doctor who man, easy winner mm -hmm. out of this movie. Uh, the the scene the scene in which he is dancing uh, and putting on his clothes and making scary vampire faces unironically the best scene in the movie. Damn. 
Okay. Not not bec- it's the only scene in the movie which perfectly makes sense with what is happening in the movie. Okay. Because he's like I love being a vampire now. This rules. I'm going to go down to the club and have sex with a lady cuz I'm a cool vampire now and I'm no longer got leg blood problems. Now how's the morb action? It's okay. Okay. Um, it has. I'm sure you've seen it. In, I've seen, I'm sure you've seen it in the trailers, where like there's this wispy energy that comes off of uh, the vampires. Mm, sure. So they kind of look like wraith-like. Um, when Mr. Morbius is by himself, um, and you know fighting a goon or you know whatever, eh, it's fine. It, it's got a cool look to him, you mm-hmm. know, flowing around. Um, when it's the two vampire mans fighting. And they're both doing it, and Morbius is in black, and Matt Smith is always in white. It's a fucking mess. The final scene of the movie has, or like the big action sequence, has like Michael fucking morbing out, and a million bats, and then Matt Smith morbing out, and like his, and it's a fucking mess. It's so. It, the fact that the stinger is not the only thing it should be, which is Wesley Snipes walking on camera, is a complete... I, I'm just confused as to how you don't nail that. Because it's the only thing you could think of that you should be That'd doing. Be great. This entire franchise mm-hmm. should just be there to set up Wesley Snipes basically walking in and going, yeah, there were enough zeros. I took the check. Let's go. Because that's what... If you go back to fucking radioactive spider blood, if you go back to the <sighs> comic, like it's Blade and fucking Morbius and his mom, and that's yeah. then that's that's the thing. It's um, and and I I regret to inform everyone that um at 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 no point in the movie does Michael Morbius struggle against his morb self and go I'm I'm starting to morb, I'm morbing out. Or it's morb in time. Morb. <laughs> yeah, that's mm. the best. That's I'm starting to morb mm. is my favorite mm. one. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, like walking in with all this stupid meme shit, there is um uh, there are like moments in the movie in which he is morbing out, <laughs> like like when he gets really vampire-y. And all the visual effects go on, and he starts to get super nuts. Like, he might as well be yelling out, it's Morbin time. Uh, man. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just, like, you take a trash fire like that, and you just, you reach out to, to whatever companies. In this now, in this world of, like, crossover nonsense where the right paycheck can solve all problems... And you just promise the return of fucking Blade. And people will be like, God damn it, now I have to watch fucking Morbius 2. <laughs> Everyone will have to watch Morbius 2 if you do that. I think I think it is absolutely fucking positively insane that a movie that costs $25 to view on Apple is at the top of Apple's movie section right now purely purely due to people like joking about the morbius sweep and i'm starting to more pure meme value yeah it's like meme dollars like I, I me and Paige were talking about morbius on twitter and somebody hit me with a 31 second video in the in the in the tweets that was the movie the whole movie mm-hmm. and I, I saw people get talking about on discord how people were getting banned from Discord because they're posting the entirety of the Morbius movie in Discord to watch amongst their more friends. Morbin. Meme dollars, man. Yeah, it's real. It's it's real. It's 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 real currency. Somebody in the chat just pointed out we're hitting B movie levels of meme. Absolutely, a hundred percent. That's absolutely what is happening. <laughs> uh. um, 
Like it's, I would, I would actually say, if you are the kind of person who loves to see like a just really terrible film, and like as as like somebody who's like, wow, they made every part of this bad. Like this is a great pick. This is a great pick because I mean, like it's kind of a relief to hear that it's not middling. I suppose. Oh no! Oh god, that would be the worst, right? No, like okay. I'm going to use another example. So there's the little girl, and she's like, Oh, Morbius, thanks for helping me with my blood. Do you think we'll ever get a cure? It's like, oh, I don't know there, little child. I'm a great doctor, and I'm like a Morbius. I push myself too hard with the kids, but, you know, I'm a, a great doctor. Uh, and then in in the later in the movie, oh, no, her she's burning up. She's burning up. Oh, no, uh, we got to put her into a coma to save her. Oh, there you go, kid. You're just going to take a nice nap. You're going to take a nice nap. And then you never see that kid again. Of course. And I'm like, what What was the point of the scene with her getting the fever and the no, coma? No, it's not about her. Was it's it, about, was it about to him. re up? Was it? I think it was to re up on even though Mr. Morbius is a monster now, he's still a great doctor and a, a, a caring super Morbius. He's tortured and angsty, but he saves the kids, of course. Assuming there's if, one assuming that's what happens to them who knows if it cuts away so like um all the dialogue is terrible and like it, it's shit and it make it's bad like i think the romance thing is my one of the worst ones i've ever seen in which he just tells her to close her eyes and then walks forward and kisses her like there's no cool line there's no he's like hey close your eyes and she's like why he's like just do it nah more but um, there is one. There is one thing where I went, okay, that's all right. Hey, that's that's one good one. Uh, or he like horribly, viciously beats a bunch of counterfeiters, which is one of the weirdest s sets of goons I've ever seen in a film. They're counterfeiters. They're counterfeiting American money in like a weird lab. Okay. And he, like, viciously hurts them to steal their lab. It, it's very weird. But when one guy is doing the very typical, Oh my god, oh, you're a monster, who are you? Uh, right. Uh, Leto gets his big monster face and goes, I am Venom. And the guy runs away. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, uh... okay. All right, all right, that's, okay. Sure. That's, that's cute. That's sure. a cute thing for a person... That knows that Venom is around to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that movie sucks. Good, good. That, good. Mo that, mo that good. movie is way, way worse than I thought it was going to be. Like, like, way worse. It, <laughs> it could have very easily have been a thing where, like... It functions for what it's trying to do. Everyone besides Jared is doing fine. It's structured okay. No, no. It's just cringy Jared, you know? Yeah. No. <laughs> like, and it's good, like good, the, good, the, good. the script is the biggest problem. Like, there are long portions of the movie that make no sense. Like, um, in the, when he turns into Morbius. Mor when Morbius turns into Morbius. <laughs> when, he mor morbs. When, he's, when he morbs. When he morbs out. for the first time. Yeah. He's on a he's on a ship with a bunch of hired goons. That are there to protect the girl that he's with. You know, the, the his doctor friend. Um, and he's like morbing out in the background. And one of them comes to check in on them. And she tells him to fuck off and leave. Only for them to notice that Morbius has escaped confinement. And is about to morb them all. And so he's killing all these random goons that he hired to be there to stop him if he <laughs> morbed out. Like, it's so mm. fucking weird. It's so goddamn weird. That's that's what they want. That's what he signed up for. That's the script he read. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So, yeah, I'm all, I'm all morbed out. The number I'm one. I'm all morbed the out. The number one movie in America. Um, I woke up this morning and I asked Paige, like, Paige, what happened in that movie? She's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was, was morbid out. So that's, I don't want to, I'm going to go into my week later because I'm all morbed out right now. Okay. Willie, what, because you, you, you're not morbed out. I'm not morbed out. 
I'm you know, not more you know out. Your, you know what your experience with Morbius is going to be? Mm-hmm. Just like five years of overtime seeing every scene in the movie out of order as people posted on social media going, can you fucking believe this shit? A series of gifts, yes, over the over yeah, the years. But like that will that will go up to the whole fucking film. Yeah. Like like I have not watched the Halo show, but I think I've seen the majority of the Halo TV show and can mm-hmm. remark on boy, that thing looks like shit. I think my favorite one, the like some guy posts some terrible action scene. He goes, I mean, we can all talk about the quality, but we can all agree that this was fucking crazy right and it's like sh- it's it is unironically worse than Lloyd or red versus blue or what like it is it is it is like a high budget shit death battle of mass it's terrible consumption media consumption through osmosis basically is what i'm expecting um yeah hey can i i just before we move on i just thought of something is there anything sadder than the person who is like standing something and goes wow look at this and then the example that they choose is like garbage <laughs> as the is, highest, is like uh, is like yeah, yeah. is like as terrible yeah yeah it's 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 like there are the two that the two that i've seen in the <sighs> past like year and a half is a photo of Ellie or a photo of Scarlet Witch going like name somebody else who suffered more? It's just terrible. Of course, like, of course. Yeah, it, the the equivalent of like tell me something I don't know posts. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's but the thing is too, and like and the important thing to realize, I guess, with all of those types of posts or the ones where like that fight scene from Boruto is literally the best animated fight scene I have ever seen. It is the best that has ever been made. This is the peak. It's the hard cuts between the faces, like a Dragon Ball episode. And you're just like, yeah, and it's just like, like, okay, this is a child describing their relative experience on this planet, you know? like. Well, see, that's... That's fun, because then you see in the profile picture, it's them, and they're my age. Mm-mm, They're in mm-mm. their 30s. Uh, and you're like... Well... What? 